Naturally, government leaders, healthcare workers, and the general community should do everything in their power to reduce the spread of COVID-19. This has been the situation globally, as spirited efforts are being made to combat the virus. But these efforts, on the other hand, have largely created a neglect of the public health challenges that already existed before the outbreak of the coronavirus. We're now joined by one of such victims, Nicholas who will speak to us on this, his experience on the neglect. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you. Now, you and your younger brother were not properly attended to due to a suspicion of COVID-19. Can you share your experience first? Thank you so much. And I also thank you for Nigeria and Africa. Yeah, what actually happened was that uh, on Sunday evening at, uh, at 8 uh, p.m., I was called by my brother in Abuja, that is one of my cousins, uh, told me that my brother was not fully found that has been admitted in the National Hospital of Africa. So, and uh, I asked him what actually wrong with him exactly. He told me that uh, he suspected he had uh, malaria fever and typhoid. I said, okay, please, I will get across to his doctor. Immediately, I told my brother to inquire about him what actually wrong with him. And he told me what uh, having the things and all that. That's it. What is exactly that wrong with you? It's better. Uh, they actually know better. I asked him whether you have thought they know you have a pattern. They know. That all they have is what it and all that. So I immediately called my assistant to clarify the whole stuff and she confirmed to me that she was trying to reach me before. And uh, he was not attended so. And uh, he had to call him to give the phone to anybody in the hospital, whether the medical personnel or any Nigeria flight. She can take with them to beg them for assistance because he has been in the hospital for close to three days and nobody seems to attend to him. They were saying they need to carry out their COVID 19 test for him before they know the next thing to do. So now, after that time, this patient was already getting worse because after that, it was, his breathing was very fast and it was breathing halfway. So, and I said, okay, then at the end of the day, I said, please, can you send anybody there? In the hospital to me so that I can talk with them. And then she said, okay, she sent a note from back to me. So the following day, early the morning, that was a Sunday morning. No, 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 that was Monday morning. I spoke with my brother again. And then uh, I found out from me, I was being, he said he was being very, very sick and early. He was trying to die. According to my auntie, he was crying because uh, he was crying for hunger because uh, the food they brought to him. That's okay, let's, 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 let's us understand something, Nicholas. Was it that he was put in isolation or he got no attention whatsoever? No, it was to that. I think after the, 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 the whole thing was actually, the head was deteriorating, so they had to move into the isolation center and uh, place him on oxygen. So then uh, at the end of the day, so when the, I personally spoke with the North myself, and she, I told her that uh, right now I'm away from Abuja, that I'm in Lagos. She said, if they, because there's they, they a lockdown everywhere and I can't come to Abuja, she said, if it's come to Abuja, there's nothing I can do. That uh, what they are doing is what they are doing right now because they are waiting for uh, FEDC results. What FEDC results comes out, they will not know anything to do. So I said, better, uh, you people can go ahead and treat him in advance and uh, ensure that the world because if a uh, proper thing can be done, maybe you protect you. I know you people have a way of treating people. So why don't you start treating him on the COVID-19 advance right now because it is in a critical condition right now. Okay, so, um, Nicholas, uh, because of time, because of time, I I'm sorry, I will have to interject and ask what um, your concerns are, what are your expectations? Um, we understand that your brother uh, passed away. Yeah, so let, let me get your question correctly, man. I did get you right. Okay. Um, first off, can you confirm that your brother has passed on? Did you ask him by the Did you did you get my question, sir? Yeah, I think not to get your question correctly. Okay. What 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 are your worries? What are your concerns um, about this? What do you? What are your expectations? What kind of resolution are you looking for? Exactly. Thank you so much. That's a fantastic man. Right now, number one, it, 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 it passed on or that on, on on Monday by 4:30 when I called the hospital and they did not confirm to me that uh, 
the, the drug which it is meant to give to him has not been given to him yet, and he died. And so, you know, because if she told me that he stopped breathing when I was, I tried to, I was trying to reach my brother, Kudo, he would not, was it picking my call, and I have to call the nurse to confirm to me that uh, she was about to give him some the drugs. That they are told, yeah, he has been placed on oxygen, and uh, he, unfortunately, that they were sorry, he passed on right now. So the following day, they sent me a number to call the hospital that uh, the result is out. So, and the, uh, it was a start up from time is negative, and that the COVID is negative, that they were so sorry and all that. So, uh, so and all this, so now they told us that right now that we should come and pay hospital bills, and then much uh, calls, uh, expense before the cops can be evacuated and all that. Well, well, after I confirmed them, there was in that procedure, so that I can take him for burial and all that. So, that was what they told me that. So, my family were very full of that. Uh, somebody that was not treated, Somebody that said uh, was abandoned, and uh, at the end of the when his head was getting terrorism before they moved him to Google, to population center. I can then uh, eat your punch and uh, an amount of money for us to pay and all that. So I said no, that uh, I will not. I will just have to pay so that I will just remove him from Peria and at the, uh, at the end of the so I cannot go before that to seek for redress and the whole thing because of other Nigerians and parts there who are also suffering the same similar situation of my brother. Because right. I personally, I'm yeah. also a victim of that because I was not really planned that to win. All right, and, uh, Nicholas. I, I Nicholas. To, Nicholas. What they call, call my family. Nicholas. To, to, yes, madam. Um, I'm, I'm afraid we are out of time. Um, I would thank you uh, for your time with us on the news and my condolences on the loss of your brother. We will try and stay with the story and see what happens. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you so much, madam. And be for safe. Time, and, uh, and thank you so much for your for, for your